God bless you. And may I add at this time, God bless America. Land that I love. But the land is in need of healing. Yes, the United States is infirm. Yes, it has infirmity as a nation. How has infirmity happened in the United States? A plague has occurred and the plague has dispersed its infections. Infections cause different organs many times to malfunction. The heart of a nation is its government affirmation. The government affirmation was different types in the United States. Affirmation for nations is that which is spoken and that which is written and that which is adhered to when it comes to law, when it comes to order, when it comes to what will be set forth as the premise for a people under a banner. It was started with we the people of the United States of America. That's called the preamble. Then it went on with the Constitution. Sometime in the mix, there came I pledge allegiance to the flag. One part of the allegiance pledge did include under God. There was an affirmation and a confession that the United States at that time recognized that the power that had caused them to even exist was beyond humans. The first person for them to call president, not king, but president, was a man that affirmed that there was supernatural intervention in the existence of the nation called United States. As time went on and people were put in the office of the president, there were times when there were detours from the affirmation that a deity was a part of their success, whom they called God. Time is something that does bring change. 
there have been different changes that have taken place in the United States including how many. The first United States, if I remember correctly, there were 13. Each stripe on the banner, the flag represents the first 13 states. But as they grew, the numbers grew, so they decided that stars would represent the states. Now, if I remember correctly, we have 50 or 52 stars. You know, life is something that is beyond man. Man cannot vote a life in. They can go to different places. They can say, I want a life to happen. I don't care how many people vote yes for a life to happen. A life will not take place unless there is a process fulfilled. That process is when a man, male, and a woman, female, unite in sexual activity and from that the woman conceives of the seed that has been received into her womb fertilized and incubated for at least five or six months some go most go to full term nine months eight or nine months and then the baby, a life, is brought forth, what we call a person. But in the case of a nation, it took more than two people to establish what we call the United States of America. But each person came about the same way. There was a woman that conceived seed. George Washington was born. A woman that conceived seed. Abraham Lincoln, every person that signed the Declaration of Independence was conceived and brought forth the same way. Well, after hundreds of years, now there's getting ready to be another election. A man, a man, possibly a woman, will run for election. Why? Because somewhere in the world, in time, somewhere a man and a woman got together, the woman conceived and brought forth Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Mike Pence, and whoever else will be on the ballot. But there is a 
thief that nine states have certified that they are going to uphold the thief of life. That thief is called euthanasia. Death with dignity. A thief. The scriptures call the Bible call death an enemy. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. But now for some people, death is the agent an agency by which pockets, bank accounts are enlarged. Through death, you have commodities, lungs, kidneys, hearts, those three particularly Lungs, hearts, yes, kidneys. They may start with stomachs and intestines next. But however, we definitely have the three. Transplanted hearts, transplanted lungs, and transplanted kidneys. And there is a market. And there's a price on each one of those commodities. And death is the vehicle by which those three are on the market. So if death is the system, is death is the medium, then death is the friend to the thief. What is being said? Next year is an election year. Some ballots will have euthanasia. You will have the opportunity to choose what side you will be on. If you're in favor of euthanasia being legal in your state, then you will mark yes. If you're not in favor, if you see that euthanasia is a thief, and it's a vehicle for dirty money, you'll mark no. The thief cometh. Jesus prophesied. The thief cometh. Four years ago, people decided in nine states that they would have the thief as a part of their doings legally. Well, those of you that are listening, I'm encouraging you, stand with life. Stand with God, stand with life, and vote no to euthanasia if it's on your ballots. Now Jesus warned us, watch. That's a word. Watch. That's a word from the Holy Ghost. Watch. We must watch in our states what's going on, how they propose, because there are laws that are being proposed that are much against the word of God. Well, I need your prayers. The spirit of God is standing against euthanasia. 
when God began to deal with me concerning opening my mouth against the enemies of God, the enemies of the people of God, the enemies of life, the enemies of God's will. He started first with abortion, letting me know, open your mouth and cry aloud against abortion. Then later he spoke, euthanasia, open your mouth and cry against euthanasia. Other thieves, human trafficking. Lives are being taken. Murder is being performed because of human trafficking, sex trafficking, human trafficking. The prison system. The United States is listed as the largest nation that still practices slavery. Slavery is death. To the human spirit. Death. To the human life. To the life of success. The life of prosperity. Slavery. Is in the United States. Big time. They are housed, slaves are housed in prisons and in jails. So therefore, we have a charge to keep with adult uh, abortion, with euthanasia, with the prison system. And every other thing that is the result of eugenics. Eugenics is population control. You as a listener here, day or night, you don't have to be a part of that. Be a part of the kingdom of God. Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. This ministry is a part of the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God is established. Has been for thousands of years. So therefore you want to be on the winning side because every other side is a loser. You want to be on the winning side. You want to be on the side that is of life. Jesus said, I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Believe in Jesus. Believe the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel. If you want to be a part of God's way, amen, believe the gospel. And ask God to forgive you. The scripture says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. But also we have to turn from the domination of sin. Because the wages of sin is death, eternal death. So, I'm going to pray. And as I pray, I'm inviting you to turn to Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time of sharing. By the Holy Ghost and those that will work with this ministry. Lord, we lose your power to send this word. And these that are repenting now, we lose your power that change would be in them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. 
Lord, you said we shall be changed in a moment. We lose your power to change them in this moment. We'll always give you the glory and we will say that you have done it. Well, God bless you, beloved. Thank God for you that our listeners appreciate you. Our email address is on the screen and also a number now that you may call us. Call us. Give us your prayer requests. If you want to give your name, you're welcome to do that. If not, still call us or send us an email. This is Apostle Jean Morris. We are in the process of the IGAP Network Reset, International Gathering of Apostles and Prophets Network, which our main work is getting the gospel out across the globe. I love you. Keep me in your prayers. God bless.